Okay, well, as, a, as an arable farmer, and arable means we have no stock, it's all crops uh, without any animals, we have generally busy summers and quiet winters. The summer times, which uh, are the harvest times, which run from, say, late July through to the middle of October, are spent harvesting all the crops, the whole farm, and then also ploughing, cultivating and reseeding the farm for the following harvest. Nearly all the crops we grow are what's known as winter crops. In other words, they're planted in the autumn and they then grow and over winter through the winter time. Um, in the spring we're quite busy uh, putting fertiliser on the crops and um, treating them for grass weed control and uh, broadleaf weed control. We then come to early summer where we have to be vigilant for pests and diseases um, which then leads into the harvest. Once we bring it to the farm, it's come into the grain plant. If it's a little bit too moist when it comes off the field, we have to take it down to a certain percentage moisture so that it can be stored without it overheating. If you can imagine when your daddy does his grass cuttings and he puts them in a, a big heap, because they're moist, they will start getting warm. And you can't have that with grain because otherwise it will start getting mouldy. So we, we have a dryer which takes it down to about 15% moisture. We then put it into store when the miller calls on that to make his breakfast cereal, we have our own fleet of lorries which go under a rigorous assurance scheme of cleanliness and health and hygiene. These vehicles are then loaded up and then taken to the mill where they are taken into the intake area to tip the process and from then on David looks after the quality of your breakfast cereal. The farm is something genuinely to be proud of. There is a, perhaps a slightly competitive edge with your farming neighbours to see who can have the better, slightly cleaner crop. There is also the, the knowledge that the, the more that you grow from an acre, obviously the greater the financial reward. And it's just the fact that you love the job you do and you're proud to be doing what you do.